This tutorial is an introduction to Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a platform that allows you to create assignments, provide opportunities for students to have online discussions, and ask questions of students all in one simple location. In order to access Google Classroom, you want to go to classroom.google.com. Once you get there, you want to log in with your WCPS email and password. This would be the same password that you use to log into any WCPS computer. As soon as you get into Google Classroom, the first screen is going to be any of the classrooms that you are either an instructor for or a participant in. So it's possible that you have um, been in invited to classrooms or joined classrooms in the past and those would show up here. It's also possible that you have nothing when you get to this screen, and that would be understandable as well, particularly if you haven't created a classroom of your own in the past. The first thing that you do in order to create a classroom is to click the plus sign. Once you click the plus, it's going to ask you if you want to join or create a class. Your job at this point is to create the class. Your students, once you've created the class, will click join and enter the code that you provide for them, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. So you want to click create the class. For our purposes, I'm just going to call this um, class test one. You can insert a section, a subject, and a room number if you would like, but you don't have to. It just depends on how many classrooms you're creating and how you're going to use them. So. Um, while the classroom is creating, the first thing that I like to do is to go in and adjust the theme or add a picture or make it however I want it to be so that it differentiates it from the other Google Classrooms that I've already created. So this is the main screen that comes up. If you select um, theme over here in the middle right, that will give you the opportunity to change to any of these um, patterns and themes that might be um, appealing to you. Also, if you'd prefer, you can upload a photo, and here you could put in any photo. For instance, our Eastern staff um, Google Classroom has a picture of our school across the top as the banner, so you could insert something to make it a little more personalized. Um, if you would like. So now that you have your classroom, you need to think about how you're going to get your students invited and also then if there are any additional support staff or other teachers who you co-teach with or who you may want to have access to the classroom. So if you click on the people tab at the top, the first thing you see is teachers. By clicking the plus, you can type in the WCPS email of any teacher that you would like to invite to the classroom. When you invite a teacher to the classroom, they have the same controls that you do in, in as far as their ability to add assignments, to ask questions, to post um, announcements and class um, classwork as well. For your students, um, you'll see no, no one's listed here. Eventually, all the students who are in the class will show up here. Um, this is one spot where students can get, or you can get the code to give to your students uh, for them to join. Again, they would go from their home screen and hit the plus, and then they would insert the class code. You also, back in the stream, if you click the About section, you can get the code here and then just by clicking this display it allows a nice big clear uh, display that you could project for your students to make it a little bit easier for them to access. The other thing um, for this tutorial is the general settings. So if you click the wheel in the top right corner this is where you would go if you wanted to change any of the detailed information that you inserted about the description of your class. Um, here you can also get the class code and the most important feature here is deciding whether you want um, your students to be able to post or add comments or whether you want that to be something that just you can do. So you can turn that off right here in the class settings section. Up next, we are going to show you how to add and create an assignment and share work with your students.